Hi, welcome to lecture 4.6 of the SAGE based course on Monte Carlo methods. We've covered quite a lot of uh, topics for today. Um, now let's look at um, arrays. So arrays are a very important concept that we've been playing with to do various statistical operations earlier, um, such as empirical distribution function, uh, order statistics, and so on and so forth. So this is mostly a U try, and I'm going to kind of blast through this really quickly so that uh, you get a quick intro to what you're supposed to be doing here on your own at a much slower pace. So arrays are a very nice way of um, organizing data. It's a very useful data structure. So here is an example of a 3 by 6 array. So you have three rows and six columns, and you can store these numbers in, in the sort of um, row by column format. So this is called a two-dimensional array. And you can see this is a grid of rows and columns. The array type is not available in the basic Sage package. Okay, so we import a library package called PyLab, which includes arrays and various operations with them. MATLAB, which some of you will be familiar with, uses an array as its basic data structure. So this is a very convenient data structure for scientific and statistical computing. So we really need to master uh, PyLab. Um, and its array concepts. So import PyLab. This brings into our Sage worksheet the capabilities of the PyLab library module. Okay, So this brings into our Sage the capabilities of PyLab library module. So we call import PyLab and then we simp simply print PyLab module imported because that's what happened. Because the arrays are part of PyLab, not the basic Sage package, we don't just say array, but instead qualify array with the name of the module it is in. So we say pylab.array. Right? So the cell below makes a two-dimensional 3 by 6 um, array by specifying the rows and each element in each row individually. So you should go and evaluate this and continue with this U try. Okay, It's very important that um, you do this and understand each of these instructions slowly, they're sort of written for you to actually try them. Okay, so here is a, a shape method, and here is again um, making a one dimensional array from the one we just made, and there is a resize operation. Here is this tells you how to resize um, the array, to change the shape of the array, and then there are various functions called range and um, A range for array range. So these are again basic ways of creating arrays very fast. So for example, array 3 can be created really fast using this A range. And you should understand the syntax here. So it starts somewhere, ends somewhere, and goes in increments of this. Okay, And we can ask what's the type of this array the dot shape and resize and so on. So these are U tries for you to try. And the next set of U tries will um, make you a bit more familiar with how this get data function is doing. So the actual data that was imported into this uh, worksheet, the New Zealand Lotto data, actually has been handled using a particular function. Then um, the arrays. Operations such as indexing, slicing, and copying are again very important. These are best uh, learned by doing. So please go through these U tries on your own again, and you should be able to um, understand what you are doing. Finally, tuples. Tuples are um, another um, uh, sequence. Um, container. So this is uh, a sequence type. It's the labs we've done so far. You've seen a Sage type that we have not talked about. And this is our opportunity to talk about it now. Okay. Um, so here is how you declare a tuple. Um, and you can ask what is its type and so on. So this is again a very important uh, topic. Tuples are what are called immutable, and um, it's explained what immutable means. So um, please play around with this with these set of U tries, and this should take you a good um, hour or so. Okay, so you will get a much better treatment of what um, dictionaries um, are made of as well. Here, here are some useful functions. 
um, for various sequences. So please go through them and ask your tutor if you have any questions about uh, all of these uh, U tries. So here are some optional optional exploration if uh, some of you are bored with the material and uh, Okay, so here's all the unhiding of the hidden code. So if you're really bored, you can try to understand um, what's going on here as well. All right. Have a good week.